As this poor dog roamed a desert island with no hopes of getting rescued, he was so hungry and on the brink of dying. After months of being abandoned and looking like nothing more than skin and bones, someone unexpectedly found him and did this. All dogs deserve a loving home with humans who adore and cherish them. They deserve food in their belly, treats, and endless snuggles just for being cute. Unfortunately, not every dog in the world has this, and that is the sad story of this dog in Belize. On a small desert island off the coast of Belize, with no human presence and barely anything to eat or survive on, there was a small abandoned puppy barely alive. This dog's owner once cared for it, but after a while, he could not continue doing so. Sometimes he could not care for the poor pup, and he hardly even bathed him. Things finally came to a sad end when the dog's owner took him on a boat cruise to a far-off island. When it was time to leave with his friends, the dog's owner barely remembered him, leaving the dog behind. For such a long time, this dog had nowhere to turn to. The island was so deserted and far from any human settlement that there was no hope of anyone coming to save him. The closest he had come to any human contact was when the locals from a nearby small town had paddled past the island. Unfortunately for him, they didn't see him barking and running across the shoreline. The poor thing became so emaciated and malnourished that you could almost see one of his ribs sticking out underneath his skin. His skin was so thin and his fur was so dry and stringy. Evident of the poor conditions that he had endured, his big, beautiful brown eyes looked sad and felt tired all the time. If nothing changed soon, it was likely that he wouldn't go a week longer. Indeed, no dog deserves this kind of life, but this sweet pup was forced to endure it all. The pooch roamed the island, feeding on small rodents and insects. There was barely any clean water to drink either. It was a nightmare for this poor, lonely dog. There were days when the dog barely had any strength to hunt for scraps. It would just lay down on the hot sand, drifting in and out of sleep. Such was this dog's routine in life, until one day, something out of the ordinary happened. Wesley White, an American photographer, was out on a kayaking trip when he had the most unusual encounter. Wesley dedicated most of his career to wildlife photography, so he was constantly traveling to some of the most unexplored places to capture the beauty of nature in its rawest forms. During a work trip to an island in Belize called Thatch Kai, he took his kayak out and had a relaxing experience on the water that would soon be abruptly interrupted. As he was calmly paddling through the water off the shore of a small deserted island, Wesley saw something move in the distance. At first, he assumed it was a tree or something. It wasn't until the object moved again that he realized it was an animal. He paddled his small kayak faster towards the shore of the tiny island, and when he finally made it, what he saw broke his heart into a million pieces. The dog was so emaciated and sick-looking that he could barely believe it was able to stand. The puppy was waving its tail frantically and yapping desperately to catch Wesley's attention. The photographer immediately approached the small patch of dry land, got out of his kayak, and approached the pup. The animal looked so thrilled to see him, obviously happy to see anyone at all after being alone for so long. Wesley quickly looked around on the small island, in case he would find anyone around. No such luck. The poor pup was all alone on this island, and who knew how long he had been abandoned here? With no further hesitation, Wesley immediately approached the helpless four-legged mongrel and carried him into his kayak. Wesley hurriedly paddled offshore and returned to the hotel where he was staying. The moment he got the dog onto dry land, he went to look for help. Wesley told the employees how he had come across the dog. He urged them to help him take care of the canine, and they were all so accommodating and caring, especially when they saw how much help the pooch needed. The hotel staff brought some food and water, and one of them contacted a vet to come to the hotel and examine the skinny dog. Once the vet arrived, she began examining the dog's vitals and body for any injuries, just as they had suspected. The poor thing was severely dehydrated, fatigued, and malnourished. The vet admitted she was shocked the dog was still alive with how bad things looked, and said it was a miracle that he had the strength to call out for help and draw Wesley's attention. 
If Wesley hadn't shown up, or he had decided not to stop on that island, the canine wouldn't have made it longer than a few more hours or days. Wesley's work trip had ended not long after he brought the dog to the hotel, but he knew he had found a friend in this dog. He named the canine Winston and stayed up all night watching over him. The man knew that he and this dog were meant to find each other. When it was time for the photographer to return to his home in the United States, Wesley was torn. The dog was in no condition whatsoever to travel, but he knew he had to take him home with him, where he could care for him and give him the great life he truly deserved. Wesley had two sweet pups waiting for him at home, and he didn't mind bringing Winston home with him. So, he spoke with the vet that came to the hotel, and together, they arranged for a volunteer to take care of Winston until he was fit to fly. For two months, the volunteer at the vet center took good care of Winston. They sent encouraging pictures of him to Wesley, showing how healthy and happy he was becoming. After about eight weeks, the pup was finally strong and healthy enough to make the flight to the US, where he would meet his new family. At first, Wesley was worried that Winston would not recognize him. After all, they had only spent a very brief time together after he rescued him from the deserted island. The photographer's worried were laid to rest when he picked up Winston at the airport. Immediately, the dog saw him and sniffed him out. He was filled with so much joy. He instantly recognized that this was the kind man who had saved him when he was on the brink of dying. It was the man who had shown him so much kindness. Wesley happily took his new dog to his house and introduced him to his other dogs. The three became fast friends as they hit it off right away. Wesley's heart was so touched by the beautiful dog. Winston was a sweet little pooch. He was smart, attentive, funny, and just so wonderful that everyone in his home loved him. The photographer fell in love with Winston so much that he began to document his life online. He took to social media and shared the beautiful story of how he found Winston helpless, scared, and alone on the island. He also shared how he managed to bring the dog to the US where he would have a new family that would love him and cherish him and never leave him stranded. The story touched so many people online, and they were stunned to see Winston's transformation from the skinny, starving, and dehydrated dog he was once. The dog was now strong and healthy. His dried out stringy fur was replaced with a shiny, thick, healthy coat. Where his ribs once poked out against his skin, he was now covered in lots of healthy muscle and fat. Winston's eyes were no longer sad and defeated. They were bright, energetic, and full of happiness. He now always has a smile on his face and two four-legged brothers to play with thanks to the kindness of one man who took a chance and ventured onto a lonely island one day. Many of the people who heard Winston's story all over the internet thanked Wesley for his kindness. They were so touched by the fact that if he hadn't have shown up when he did, the poor pup would have perished on that island and no one would have known. Fortunately, that was not the case, and today, Winston is the happiest good boy ever. What do you think of Winston's incredible transformation? Tell us in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you in our next one.